This week on Cook with Cabela's, I'm with Alan Krigowski. Alan is a category specialist in the camo hunting apparel department out of the Sydney, Nebraska Cabela's head headquarters. But you're originally from Texarkana. And I think down in Texarkana, man, you guys kill some ducks down there, don't you? That's right. Not only do we like to kill them, we like to cook them and clean them and eat them also. All right, so today we have some mallard breasts that we're going to cook up in a stuffed duck pepper, or duck stuffed pepper, rather. And uh, we're going to have a side of that with some potatoes. So let's get the potatoes started first. They're going to take a little longer. Is that correct? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so what do we need to do to get started? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to do these on the grill. So okay. let's get a foil pouch ready. All right. And we've got some smaller new potatoes. We've got some purple uh, potatoes, some red potatoes, and also some yellow ones. All right, I'm going to double this up. It's always a good idea to double up your foil when you're making a foil pouch on the grill. Um, it kind of prevents it from getting punctured quite as easily or tearing, and you lose all your stuff on the grill. So I'm just going to double that up and lay it out here. We've got our potatoes cut up already, and we've tossed it with a little olive oil. We've got a couple other potatoes there if you want to cut those up. Yeah, let's do that. Finish that up. I'm going to put those in there. Toss it with a little olive oil, and then I think we're going to throw some garlic on there. Is that right? We are. We've got some freshly All minced right. garlic. Freshly minced garlic all over that. Man, I can smell that garlic. It smells good. It sure does. Then we're going to add some rosemary that we've previously taken off the stem. Great. So that's just fresh rosemary that you've plucked already? That's right, Dave. Uh, anything else you need to go on there? A little salt and pepper right Salt and pepper if we could. All right. I'll let you salt that up. This is going to be good. Some fresh ground pepper also. There we go. And now we're just going to fold this over and see if we can't make a nice little pouch here. Now you like to get that pouch really nice and sealed. Uh, you want to hold that heat in there a little bit. I try to fold it over a couple times. Then I'll fold over this side a couple times. And then what I'll usually do, looks like we had a potato try to escape there. Oh no. I'll kind of lift that up a little bit. That way you gain a little more space to get that last fold. Fold it another time. Very nice. Now I'm just going to throw this on the grill. We've got that grill preheated. We're going to set those on there. And then I guess we'll start prepping the duck. Is that right? That's right. We're going to core and de-seed the peppers. Okay. And then we're going to go on with a layer of what we've done today is pre uh, pepper jack cheese. Pepper jack cheese. Okay, great. So I guess we'll get started on the peppers. I'll give you one and I'll take one. So you're just going to core it out like that? That's right. All right. Throw those in there. You got a spot over there. Sounds just, good. Well, you're just trying to get the white and the pith out and the seeds. Is That's, that correct? Yes, sir. Then we're going right. to go right in half. All right. With a vertical cut. Nice. So you're just kind of making almost like a little boat there? Exactly. Ducks are going to take a boat ride. Won't be the first one. <laughs> so we've got our peppers there, and I'm nice and cleaned up. Once you finish up that last one there, we'll do. Now we now these are some nice mallards, right? That you that you killed last fall. Is that correct? These are some North Platte greenhead. Some nice big fat mallards come down here and sit on the North Platte River here in the Panhandle, Nebraska. Some great waterfowl. It's where I grew up waterfowling. Absolutely love hunting ducks up there. Now you've had them marinating for a few days. What did you marinate those in? I have this time we went with a teriyaki sauce. Okay. And then we did a little bit of a hot sauce. Uh, I like spicy food, so I added a little bit of cayenne and then some garlic powder. Okay, great. And you just put those in a plastic bag with the marinade and put them in the fridge, probably rotate them every eight hours or so, every That's few times right. a day. Yep, tumble them. But first we're gonna start with cheese, correct? Yes, sir. All We're right. going to get a good foundation of some pepper jack cheese. I'm get the cheese out. I'll take a couple slices. All right, I'll pass you over a few. There you go. And Thanks, so you're sir. just you're just laying that in the bottom of those peppers, is that correct? That's right. And then what else we're going to add to this? We're going to use some onions and then also some mushrooms. All right. It's going to be kind of like a Philadelphia stuffed pepper. All right. Now we got the cheese all in there. Now what's our next step? We are going to take some mushrooms All right. and then some onions. Yep. And then we're going to lay the layer the bottom layer. Okay. And then we're going to go on with our mallard breast. And we're going to sear our mallard breast just for a few minutes on both sides. So you're going to pre-cook those mallard breasts just a little bit before we That's slice right. them and add them to this. Yes, sir. Then we're going to thinly slice them, stuff them in the pepper, yep. and then cover them with another layer of cheese. And then we're going to go on the, on the grill. grill. All right. So you said a little, I'll let you grab the onions there. I'll grab some mushrooms. And you're just kind of putting a little base of those in the bottom of these peppers. That's right. OK, great. I'll let you get all your onion in there, and then I'll follow up with some mushroom. Mm, those are looking good. All right, great. All right. 
All right, so those are going to be ready for the duck first, but it looks like we need to get the duck on the grill. Is that correct? Correct. All right, well, let's just slide that aside. And the ducks are already prepared. It looks like they're ready to go. We just need to get them on the grill. We'll add them right now. Got a grill nice and hot. There you go. All right. These like these were some fat mallards. Probably some nice late season birds. They sure were. That was actually a closing day of the season. No kidding. The, that's great. Looks like a pretty good way to finish off the year. It was. We had uh, we had seven guns and really took it to them. Got my dog some work. Oh, that's nice. That sounds good. All right. So we're gonna go on the grilling for about two minutes aside. About two minutes aside, all yeah. right. And one thing when cook, cooking waterfowl, you never wanna dry it out, don't overdo it. That's right, I mean, I, that's, that's one thing I preach a lot, guys, is when you're cooking waterfowl, medium rare, I'll give you medium, but don't ever go past medium. That's when it starts tasting livery, it starts getting really tough. Dry and tough. I mean, that's exactly right. I mean, the only other way you're gonna do this is if you're gonna cook it for a really long time with some moisture and a braise, like if you're doing some goose breast or something that you're gonna shred up or some yep. goose legs. But normally, if you're doing a duck breast or a goose breast, just leave that medium rare. So we're gonna let these sear a little bit, then we're gonna flip them and then slice them and get them in the peppers, correct? That is right. All right, mm -hmm. all right. Those potatoes are still going, but the duck breast is all gone, done and ready to go. What's our next step here? Those look good. We are going to take these out, and then we're going to thinly slice them. Okay. And then we're going to load the peppers and cover them with a layer of cheese. Awesome. Sounds great. So I'll let you get started get on that. On so you're just going to cut them across yeah. the breast like that? That's right. Oh, oh see, boy. I mean, that looks perfect to me. I'd eat, I would eat that right now. <laughs> So then you're just going to layer these on top of the peppers? Yeah, let's go ahead and get started with All it. right, I'll start layering them on there. Any certain way, or you just kind of nope. pack them on there just as you can? get so. them in there as tight as you can. All right. Mm. How much you can pack about five or six? Yeah, that, I'd, seven, I'd say slices. probably to... about a one mallard breast per pepper no kidding, is about okay. That's yeah. great, man. So you are loading these up. All right. That looks good. You got enough for that last one there? Yeah, we can make it work. And you're just going to put the cheese right on top of it? Yeah, let's just go on with a layer of cheese. Okay. And you can use the cheese of your choice. Today we've, we've selected pepper jack. Like you said, you like your stuff a little spicy, so I think we're going a little pepper jack, and we're going to have some nice spicy food. All right, and then the next step goes right to the grill. Is that right? Yep, we're going to go right on the grill with it. All right, and how long are these going to go on the grill? Yeah, until the peppers are soft. Okay. What you're going to want to watch is uh, you don't want your cheese to drip down below, so sometimes you could put a, a layer of foil down, or you could even gotcha. foil wrap them. makes the peppers a little bit softer, okay. and they cook a little bit faster. Okay. We're gonna go right on the grill that way. And I'm gonna turn the burn, these two burns down just a little bit, because like you said, you don't really need that cheese to melt too much. You want it to melt on top, but you don't want it to get drippy. That's right. All right. Here you go, Dan. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. And you lid closed on this? I would leave the lid All closed. Right, lid and have we, flipped the have we flipped the potatoes? No, let's do that real yeah, quick. Let's go ahead and do that. All right. As you're flipping those, be careful just so you don't want to puncture that foil. You want those to really steam and roast in there. All right, so I'm going to close that lid down. We're gonna give this a little bit of time and then you and I are gonna be eating really good. And the cameraman, we got five on here. I think you and I could eat all five of those ourselves, but we got some hungry cameramen as well. So uh, they're gonna enjoy this with us too. So we're just gonna let that set, let those peppers get soft, let the cheese melt, and then we're gonna eat. All right, these peppers have been on here on the grill about 350 degrees for 20, 25 minutes probably. I That's think they're right. probably ready to go. Yeah, let's check them out. So you're looking for the peppers to get soft, is that right? That's right, like, if you could kind of bump them and see if they, See if they're soft. Yeah, and you can kind of see they're spreading out a little bit like that. I think we're ready to go. Why yeah. don't you hand me that plate? Let's pull one of them off of there. Yeah, I'll pull a couple off and we'll get to test them. Let's see. All right. Oh, about lost that one. Grab that red one off there. All right, man, those look great. They sure do. All right. Those peppers should, or the potatoes, they should be done as well. They've been on there for a bit. that right there all right and I am anxious to try these let's see what these potatoes look like oh yeah I like how they're getting a little crusty too yeah a little brown on there 
I can smell that rosemary. It smells so good. I like that. Yeah, I don't, I can't hard to beat rosemary. And then I'm gonna try, let's just try one of these peppers. I'm gonna give it a whirl. I'm gonna see if you see if you really uh, know what you're out. doing here. Check it out. I want to get a lot of cheese. I want to get some duck in there. Definitely some mushroom. All right. Oh, this is going to be hot, but it's worth it. Man, that's A-OK. -okay. Good. Glad you like it. And that pepper back jack cheese gives it that little bit of spice, a little crunch from the onion still. The mushrooms are great. Oh man, that's really good. I mean, that's a great way to cook duck. Super simple as well. I mean, it didn't take much to put that together at all. Not, not at all. And you know, we cooked that duck a little medium rare before we put, sliced it up, put it in the peppers. It cooked a little bit more, but it's still not overcooked. It still has really good flavor. A real beefy flavor almost is what I would call yeah. it. Like a Philly cheesesteak. You're exactly. exactly right. So I'm going to see about these peppers now. I can smell that rosemary. I know they're going to be good. They're really hot, but they're really good. That rosemary, the olive oil, and then all that garlic comes through. Man, that, that's a great meal, simple meal you can do on the grill. I'm telling you, next duck season, save some ducks aside. Then when it gets to be grilling season, make these. And I think you're right. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we got a couple more on the grill. I think I'm gonna go track down some hoagie rolls, squish one of those in a hoagie roll, and have me a duck Philly cheesesteak sandwich. Man, that's great. Thanks a lot for joining me. You're welcome. Check with us next week. We're gonna have another great meal on Cook with Cabela's.